hello everybody and welcome to this channel once again thanks so much for clicking on this video so if you're new here kindly hit on the subscribe button to subscribe if you are old here thanks so much for coming back again so in this video i'm going to show you how to design a golden certificate in photoshop so without further ado let's get into the video all right so i'm going to start off by creating a new document so i'm going to new and then i'm going to select the international paper over here and maintain it at A4 so I won't do any changes over here the resolution is 300 dp if you want you can change it so I'll click OK when I'm done alright so the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to fill this particular document with a color and I'm going to choose black you know gold matches with black that's why I'm using black for this one so I fill it with black and then I'll click OK next I'm going to select the rectangle over here and draw a nice rectangle so select the rectangle and draw a nice rectangle say around this place okay let me make it like this and then i'm going to center this one by selecting it and then center it over here because the background is also black you're not going to see any changes but what we're going to do is we're going to decrease the fill over here to zero percent right click and go to the blending options and then going to add a stroke to it so the inside of the rectangle will be gone and then the outer layer will be there so i'm going to give it a color and the color that i'm going to give it is fae and then a3b so i'll click ok and then i'm going to increase the stroke to nine and click ok so the fill type is color and you leave the rest like that so you click ok when you are done now let's go ahead and increase or decrease or transform this one smaller like this and we maintain it like that okay so next i'm going to make a duplicate of the same rectangle it will be on top of the rectangle that we just did so ctrl j and then you're going to make a duplicate and then i'm going to decrease that size so it will be like it is inside of this particular rectangle and then it goes like that so i'm going to clear the layer style increase the fill yeah so the fill has been increased to zero percent and then i'm going to add some sort of gradients to it um luckily for me i have the gradients already done in my work so i'm just going to select that but you can choose you can see the colors from here these are the colors the first color that i used and then this is the second one and then you repeat it just like that you make it four right so i'm going to click ok and then the angle i'm going to change that to zero and my scale is 100 percent everything remains the same and i'll click ok now what i'm going to do next is make a duplicate of this same rectangle again because we are dealing with the rectangles just like that so you make a duplicate of that rectangle again and then i'm going to clear the layer style again so clear the layer style and then we have the dark uh, background that we started with so we press ctrl t and we transform it a little bit like this so we would have that shiny gold background like that so we have the three layer steps or yeah the three layer steps and then we are good to go so from here we can add our test and everything that we want to add to this particular certificate that we're going to create so the first one will be the heading or perhaps we're going to make some sort of yeah the headings let me start with the headings so i'll select my test tool and i'm going to write say certificate So I'm going to select a font called Loki Cola. I will include that in the description if you want to use it. So I'll increase it over here and bring it down like this. Press Ctrl A to make a selection of it and then position it in the middle, just like that. And let's say we try to change the color to something a little bit deeper, say here, okay. All right, so we, I'm just picking the color from the rectangle that we created because we don't have to go and pick it again. So you click OK like that 
and next on top of this certificate i'm going to add a floral brush or let's say a floral vector so i'll click file and then open i downloaded that from google i have a lot of them over here and then i'm going to select this particular one over here there are many and i'm going to pick one from them so i'll double click on this and click ok choose my eraser tool and make sure i use the magic eraser tool to get rid of the white background so i'll increase the size or zoom in and get rid of all the whites in it so here and there over here that place and there so when i'm done all that i'm going to do is select my rectangular market tool and make a selection of the one that i want press ctrl j to make a duplicate and then i'm going to send it over to our certificate so i'll increase the size over here make sure i press ctrl a to have it in the center and then i'm going to right click on it go to blending options and then i'll change the color to something visible that you can see so let me say this place or this area will do and then i'll click ok and then ok so we have our floral brush or our floral vector also added and then the next thing that we're going to do any certificate it has to be presented to somebody so you're going to make a duplicate of the certificate by pressing ctrl j and then drag it over down here and then we're going to edit that so we pick your test tool and you start to edit that so we're going to do like um presented to and that i'm going to use a font called old english test that one i think is is um by default in photoshop so any photoshop that you're using you should have this font by default in it so presented to and that one has to also be centered so basically everything that we are doing over here has to be centered to make the work very uniform and the next thing that we're going to do is whom are we going to present the certificate to so we select the rectangle tool over here and draw a nice or a small rectangle like that you have to decide your size yes so you change the color also to something like this and then you click ok and just like i made mention earlier it has to be centered to make the work uniform so i'll bring it down more like this and then i'm going to make a duplicate of the presented to um presented to test the test that we just did i make a duplicate of it and bring it down like that so basically we're going to type in the name here and i'm going to use my name of course that one is a fact so when you are doing yours you have to also use your name so i'll use her vertical interact because that one has to be very visible for everyone to see it now what i'm going to do is i'm going to we just did something here this is the first rectangle that we did or the second one so i'm going to select that particular layer style i'm going to copy it and then come to my test over here and paste it so paste layer style and then the layer style that we had over for the rectangle has been copied and pasted onto our test so it is as simple as that and then the next one I can also select the certificate test and then paste it on it. So paste layer style and then you see it has changed. So it is as simple as that. And then next you're going to add the reason for the certificate. So I don't know what, what your reason may be. But for the sake of this tutorial, we're going to use something very simple to um, describe something like that so let me choose a font called um, acrobat and then i'm going to write i'm 
so this is what i wrote i don't know what you're going to write but this sounds crazy like just like that so i'll change the color and then make sure i have it in the center to make the work uniform so i'm going to decrease the fonts like this and then double click and place it somewhere very neatly just like that so next we're going to make a duplicate so just it's just a duplicate copy and paste thing that i'm doing here so we duplicate that one to and add an awarded so awarded let's say awarded this day and today's day is may 3rd 2018 right so i had my award in may 3rd 2018 whether you like it or yes all right so finally we're going to add let's say some two dignitaries who are going to sign for us and then you add that by choosing the rectangle tool and make a rectangle a small one over here and that one too you're going to pick the color from this let's say somewhere around it yep and we click ok make a duplicate and then send it over to this side so we're going to select the two and try to bring them over here so that it will look very nice and then we're going to transform that so let me zoom in so that you get a very clear view of what i'm doing and then i'll just close it up like that so that it will be something small and then bring it down over here and i'm going to make a duplicate of the awarded this date again and send it down over here and this one will read something like chairman position it somewhere around here and make a duplicate and this one will also be i don't know if the secretary signs on certificates but i just chose to use secretary All right so secretary and then you make sure you've positioned it very neatly like that so when you do this i think your certificate is very done and if you have anything like a logo that you would like to include you can place it either here or that place and any other thing that you would like to add would be at your own cost so that is the simplest way to create or design a golden portrait certificate in photoshop i think this was very simple and even if you've not used photoshop before you go you'll be able to do this thing so thank you so much for watching this video i appreciate your time a lot please don't forget to like and subscribe watch other tutorials of mine i have cartoon stuff business cars and all those things in my videos please go and watch them and then thank you for watching i'll catch you in the next tutorial innocent here bye